What's up guys, Happy Ghost here, and welcome to a different sort of video um, from what you're probably used to on this channel. Um, usually I'd be doing a gameplay video on this channel, but today I have something a little different. Um, usually I wouldn't do this sort of video, but I decided, yeah, why not? Um, I thought it will if you read the title of the video, yeah, no, this is. But I got a new keyboard, um, and I'm going to be showing you my old keyboard that I was using, um, everything that's wrong with it. I'm going to be doing a unboxing and review of my new keyboard. So, start with, here is my old keyboard. Very, very dusty, just a $20 Walmart keyboard, I think. Um, as you can see here, um, there's a whole lot of keys with the stickers fading from it, and the space bar, as you can tell, is very broken. So, and I just built Pepsi on it before recording this, so that's my old keyboard, and we're getting rid of that. And now, my new keyboard, still in the box, unopened, the Razer Sinoza, I think that's how you pronounce it, the Razer Sinoza Chroma is a nice picture of what it looks like on the box there. There is, there's the title, the Razer Sinoza Chroma Multicolor Gaming Keyboard, the Razer logo in the corner. Um, and yeah, so, on the bottom, it says Razer Sun has a chroma there, and then on the side, I don't have enough room between the wall and my camera to show you, but it says, again, the name, I might be able to, there we go, sorry for that bad quality there, but the Razer Sun has a chroma and a picture of the keyboard, um, on the back, of the box, um, right here, it says gaming grade keys with soft cushion touch, um, on the other side it says spill resistant durable design, in the middle absolute gaming infinite lighting, the picture of the keyboard glowing. So I think it's time we unbox it. So let's start right here on the bottom, There's little tabs here to help open the tape, very useful, pull those off, put them aside, other one, oh, 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 that one ripped, okay, hold on, um, hold on a second, there we go, um, let it open, let's open it up, let me get this all on the camera. And there it is, the keyboard itself. So, I'm gonna try to put the camera down a little bit. Here, so you guys can see better. There you go. Here is the keyboard. So, I'm going to start by sticking out. Let's get rid of the box for now. And here we have the keyboard itself. So let's take the wire out. There we go. Got a piece of cardboard here with a little manual here. I'm gonna check this out. Um just seems to be a setup guide sort of thing. Who needs that? Um, let's see, how am I gonna... Oh, that came off really easy. Um, there's that. So it's razor on it. Nice. There's the cord. Uh, 
Um, and now, let's take the plastic off. I can figure out how. It's um, a very um, light-ish sort of keyboard. Um, kind of like a in the middle sort of weight, in my opinion. Um, not too heavy, not too light. Just nice. Um, there we go. Let's get cover plastic off. There we go. Now we have the keyboard itself. Um, looks pretty nice. The keyboards are or the keyboards. The keys are pretty soft, very quiet sounding, which is good for my videos. Won't hear as much of the keyboard pressing. Um, on the back here, we have two little stands. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Um, two stands here to help prop it up, well, obviously. Um, yeah, very nice keyboard. Um, very quiet, very soft keys. Um, not too heavy, um, whereas compared to my other keyboard. Um, hold on, let me just pick it up. It's covered in boxes on the floor. Um, it's very odd when the stands went down. Where is it? There it is. Um, very loud, and the keys aren't very soft. Um, let's put that away and bring back the Razer keyboard. Whereas this, very soft, very quiet. Um, there is still some sound but it's a lot quieter, which I like, I like that. Um, so let's plug it in right here. This little case over the plug, there we go. Let's move the plug. I don't know if you can see that, there it is. It is green, like the Razer logo. Um, it's, the Ra it's the Razer's signature color. So let's plug it in over here. There we go. Ooh, and it lights up good purple and starts fading through rainbow, it looks like. Let me first plug it in. Very nice. Um, then very quickly, just going to move it over onto my tray over here. So I'll be back in one second. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. There's a little razor thing opening up. Hold on a second. Let me switch to my desktop here. This just opened up here. Um, the Razer Sinoza Chroma. Congratulations, you're invited to be among the first to get early access to the all new Razer Synapse 3 Beta. Experience advanced Razer Chroma lighting capabilities via Chroma Studio. Personalize each key on your keyboard with 16.8 million color options powered by Razer Chroma. Enable Razer HyperShift hyper technology to double the number of customizable buttons. Next. Um, Alright, I'm going to mess around and go through this in a second. I'm just going to move my keyboard and move the camera so you can see. Alright, so we are back. Um, sorry if the quality here on the keyboard this is too great. Uh, my webcam doesn't have very great quality. It does the job though. Um, but now we are going to go through the whole installer thing here. So, select the software to install Razer Synapse. Razer Synapse Beta is unified hardware. It's a unified hardware configuration tool that allows you to rebind controls, assign macros, or personalize the lighting for any of your Razer products and more. Um, this has the hue. Enter a new level of immersion with the Philips Hue module. Watch as your Razer Chroma enabled devices sync with your Hue bridge and let your gaming experience transcend the screen and go beyond your peripherals. 
Sync with your Philips Hue Bridge via the Hue tab. Chroma. Unlock advanced Chroma capabilities with Chroma Studio that allows you to create multiple lighting effects synchronized across all your devices. While following the exact placement of your devices on your desktop, manage all of your coverage with Alt V. Unlock advanced Razer Chroma capabilities with Chroma Studio that allows you to create multiple lighting effects synchronized across all your devices while following the exact placement of your devices on your desktop. Manage all your Chroma enabled games and programs via the Chroma Apps tab. Macro. Bring powerful macros to your favorite games with Macro Module. Easily create a string of complex button presses and then precisely ex execute game winning combinations with a single press. And here we have the Razer Cortex. Um, from optimizing your system's full potential to finding the best game prices, get more out of your experience all in single software suite. Um, don't think I'm going to be installing that. And then the Razer Soft Miner Beta. Um, Razer's Mining Reward software lets you earn Razer Silver when your PC is idle when you're at AFK. Um, don't know what that is. Um, I think I'm gonna install the Razer Synapse with the Hue, Chroma, and Macro. Um, and I'm going to install the Razer Soft Miner. Well, might install that after. I don't know exactly what Razer Silver is. This is my first Razer product. Maybe once I'm in the launcher, I'll figure out what that is. But I'm just going to start with the Synapse, the Hue, Chroma, and Macro. And hit install. Um, and it's going to install for me. Here we have a thing to read, so let's go through that. While this installs, um, the all new. Okay, I was learning that. The all new user experience. Razer Synapse has been redesigned from the ground up with a refreshing new user interface and modular inter installation capabilities. Your personalized device settings anytime, anywhere. Your personal device settings anytime, anywhere. Rebind buttons, assign macros to your mouse, and automatically save all of your configurations to the cloud as well as take up to four profiles with you via the device's onboard storage. All new Razer HyperShift functionality. With just a single press temporarily unlock a secondary set of functions on top of your existing button assignments, effectively doubling the number of customizable buttons. Infinitely customizable. Profiles are a convenient way of organizing all your device's configurations. You can rename each profile to suit its theme and all changes made to your device's settings are automatically stored in the device's onboard storage as well as the cloud. Advanced Macro Capabilities Razer Synapse allows you to create a series of complex button presses to precisely execute game-winning combinations with a single click. All-new Razer Chroma Lighting Capabilities Razer Synapse features the all-new Chroma Studio, the advanced lighting configuration tool that allows the creation of multiple lighting effects that can be synchronized across multiple devices. So, there's all that. Um, it says in the corner, time remaining about three minutes, so I'm gonna let it finish installing, and I'll see you guys in about three minutes for me, but about um, snap of fingers for you guys. All right, just finished installing. Um, you can see on my desktop, right, right here, Razer Synapse has been installed. Um, so, in the installer here, congratulations, please sign in with the Razer ID or create a new Razer ID to get started. And then I'll choose sign apps. So, I'm going to have to create a new Razer ID, so I'm going to go do all of that, and I will see you guys when I'm done doing that. Alright, and we're back. I had to restart and make a whole Razer ID account, but we're finally back in, and here we are, Razer sign app, see what's new. Take a quick tour of the new and improved Razer Synapse. So let's do this. Um, quick access to all your favorite devices. Razer Synapse is a single software solution for all Razer devices. Switch between different devices here and configure away. Okay, up here, keyboard. Uh, next, complete control. Easily control all your profiles and link them to your favorite games. 
Create a virtually infinite number of profiles that are stored automatically on the cloud. Create the, the devices with Razer Hybrid Storage can also store profiles directly to the device. Next. Get started. Your dashboard displays all of your active devices. Select the device, start configuring. Done! So here we are. And as you can see, my modules, Hue, Chroma, Macro, Beta Feedback, Online Services, Register your Razer Project Warranty, View Compatible Devices, Visit Razer Store, Razer Game Store, and then Z Vault. Not sure what that is, so let's check it out. Okay, Razer Gold. We have upgraded to Razer Gold and Silver. Get more back on exclude on exclusive gaming details and awards only with the new Razer Gold and Silver. Upgrade your Z Vault now to continue enjoying our services. Upgrade now. Okay, so Razer Silver. The global loyalty rewards program for gamers backed by Razer. Explore various ways of earning Razer Silver and redeem a full suite of Razer gear and digital rewards in our catalog. Razer Gold, one of the largest virtual credits for gamers worldwide, access over 2,000 games and credits. Get more value and benefits when you pay with Razer or reload your wallet. Only wallet currency. I'm keeping things simple. A dollar of the local currency is not equivalent to one Razer Gold, so you can purchase games and bonus in game content with your local currency. Be sure to check your chosen currency when upgrading your account. You will be unable to make further changes once your preferred you prefer currency has been selected. Over 1 million channel touch points worldwide. It's incredibly easy to buy and use Razer Gold. With our wide distribution network, we have over 1 million offline and online channel touch points available. Reload your account with pins bought in physical stores or choose to purchase online using your credit card, internet banking, or direct carrier billing. So, looks to me like this is Razer's own currency um, that you can buy in physical stores. Um, you can go into a store, get a Razer card, I guess. Um, and you can input this Razer currency to buy different games or to buy different Razer products or in-game content. Um, I'm not going to be doing that today, we're just going to be focusing on the keyboard here. So let's stick to that. So devices, Razer Snow's Chroma, let's click on that. Alright, standard with Razer Hype Shift. Hype with Razer Hyper Shift you can assign an additional function to the same button or key without interfering with its default input. Gaming mode off, always on. Enable in-game. I set that. Um, gaming mode's on. Disable Alt F4. I'm gonna keep Alt Tab on. I use that often. Um, open Windows key pop, keyboard properties. Key properties for device. Not gonna. Yeah, no. Um, start with profiles. Um, let's add new profile. Let's not add new profile. Um, so this will rename some those uh, Roma. There we go. Now let's go to the keyboard here. Run the profile says Roma. Um, so I guess we can change settings on the keyboard. So here we have standard. Which, yes, it's this, and we have Hyper Shift. Um, not quite sure to do this here. Um, so the default key, escape, um, keyboard function, we then key to. Enable turbo. Not quite sure what all this is. I just am going to go through basic things you can do with the keyboard. I'm pretty sure you can set it so that each key pressed um, emits a ripple. You can set it to fade across. You can set it to fade through like this. Um, oh, that's here. There's customize and that's here in lighting. So effects. Um, there's spectrum.
Spectrum Cycling, which is what we have it on right now. Um, that is when it just fades through all the different colors, I guess. There's Quick Effects and Advanced Effects. We're going to start with the Quick Effects. Oh, there's Brightness too. We can change the brightness. Here we go. It's all the way down. Dim. Normal. Bright. We keep mine at bright. Um, switch off lighting when the display is turned off. And idle for some minutes. Um, I'm just not gonna I just drop the lighting. Um, let's focus on the effect. So we have breathing, where it's set to one or two colors. We're gonna put red and blue. So it breathes like so. You can see it. Um, Oh wait, hold on, I said it's red and red. Um, so red and blue. If you watch that for a second. It breathes on the red, shuts off and switches to blue. We have fire. Ooh, that looks, that actually looks really cool. Um, don't know how well you can see that on the uh, face cam but it looks like a sort of fire effect it looks pretty good i'm actually going to hold on ignore obs on the camera now um i'm going to grab this here not the mess on my desk i'm going to hold the camera here you can see that fire effect sort of a pulsing fire sort of thing um Next is reactive um, color. Okay, so they're all off. Um, it's gonna set it to blue. Um, and I assume that is when. All right. Press a key. Turns on like that. Lights up and then fades off. Um, you can change the duration. So quick, like that, um, medium, which is what it was on before, and then long, like that, go, um, there's ripple, which is what I was talking about earlier, set that to blue, like that, ooh, I like that, look at that. That looks cool. Let's take a look at that. I like that. Um, spectrum cycling, which is what it started on. Starlight, what's this? Ooh, I like that a lot. Um, set two colors. Gonna have green and blue. Look at that, that is very nice. Very nice indeed. When you press a key, it doesn't seem to turn on, but there's starlight, there's static. Um, you can have, yes, set to red. Um, and I think it just stays that one color. Um, then finally, wave. Ooh, I think I'm going to have it set on that. Um, where it fades to the rainbow, you can change the direction, so you can have it go left, um, have it go right, like so. So all the quick effects, next is the advanced effects, Chroma Studio. Um, let's see here, okay, so here we can decide. Um, what effects to put on? Let's try Ripple right now. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have my personal um, keyboard set to 
have the fire going on for it. There we go, very nice. Um, just gonna save that for now. So, should be switching to fire momentarily. Give it a second. There we go. Um, the fire is showing up here. Gonna save so that it starts on the keyboard. There we go. Now I do believe I can add the ripple effect to here. Um, and I'm going to edit the ripple effect here. Select all of this. Um, color. Let's. Um, hmm. Let's set it to rainbow. Um, so on press, and I'm gonna save. So, as the fire effect, press a key. It emits a sort of rainbow-looking. light going out. Very nice. I like that a lot. Um, but that's just one of the things you can do, of course. Um, you can have, let's see, Starlight going on too. Um, let's see. Um, I guess I'll try this out. Um, kind of I'm thing with it a little bit. Um, make it one solid color, make that blue. Save. And there we go, it's the fire effect with blue. Starlight, going around. Um, there's also wave. I think I'd rather have. Switch. Should come on momentarily. Gotta select it all to have wave. Um, rainbow. Save. There we go. There it comes. I can change the speed. I can make it really fast. I can make it really slow. Set it to 10. Go very slow. Set it to 50. Where it's very fast. Um, I think I'm just gonna have it set to 10 for me. And I think I might have the active. Um, I'm gonna make the color white, maybe. Save. Let's see. What does that look like? Eh, yeah, can't really see it very well. Um, let's see. Can I? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I can do it that. Um, let's see, how about instead of this add the ripple effect color okay, solid color like see what that looks like. Very nice. I'm sorry you can't see I'm paying a lot of attention to the actual keyboard, not the footage on the screen. Um but very hard to tell because the quality of the camera, but it looks very, very nice. Um, yeah, so, there's that, um, I guess that's really it to show you, I've showed a lot of the effects, you can mess around here, you can set each key to be a specific color, um, yeah. So, um, let's see what Hugh is. 
um, you call it decoration. Okay, well, I don't have a cube bridge, it looks like. Okay, and macros, so let's see. Um, I guess this is for key bindings for the main game. Um, so, yeah, enough about the keyboard itself and all the lighting effects. I'm going to set my keyboard up and hop into Fortnite and show you guys, um, keyboard in gaming action. So, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Gonna set up my lighting preferences, open up Fortnite, and there we go. So, be back in a minute. Alright, so very, very quickly before we hop into a game of Fortnite, really quick, um, I'm going to be playing a few rounds, and I have set three different effects that I'm going to be showing you guys to showcase the different effects of this keyboard. The first one, I have here the wave effect, which is waving rainbow, and I have the reactive one, where it's kind of hard to tell, but press some of the keys, especially on camera, it's hard to tell, but when you press the keys, they flash white in the background for a short while. The second effect, let it fade in. I have set the fire effect with the same reactive thing, except it's more visible. Fire effect, press key, back click key turns white. And then finally, just a plain red keyboard with the blue ripple around it. So I'm going to start with Chrome Effect 1. Um, we're going to play a couple games of Fortnite, showcase the different um, effects I have set, and that'll be the end of the video. So, here we go. This, this is my fourth attempt at recording this game part, because first of all, um, I was going to play Fortnite, but my computer couldn't handle having OBS open twice, as well as Audacity and then Minecraft and Fortnite or whatever. I can handle Minecraft, but not Fortnite. So I came to Minecraft, and then I forgot to add it as a as a source in OBS. Um, and there's a whole bit about lightning from a command block. Um, so then I tried a third time, but I set the Minecraft thing to be recording in the whole keyboard cam area right here. Hello. Um, instead of the desktop camera. But now I'm here, so I'm gonna mess around. First um, setting I have right now is the wave, the rainbow wave setting, um, as well as the white reactive setting. So the rainbow wave is just normal wave setting, it's just how it comes. I think you can change the color scheme. But it, the default is rainbow, um, and I added in where every key you press, the backlit key, the backlight for it, turns white for a couple seconds, and then fades back to the wave thing. So that is the first, um, that is the first setting I have here, so. I think what we're gonna do is blow up this village. Because why not? Do I have to steal this? No. Um, mint. The steel. Okay. I'm just gonna blow up this village. Because I can. And no one is gonna stop me. Except maybe uh, the lag. There we go. Oh no, oh the lag. Okay, um... Hmm, there we go. Pull that up. Pull it here, start that. Back away, back away. Oh no, it's lagging. Oh no. Okay, um... This side of the village hasn't seen much damage, so 
I think I'll blow this card up. Okay, that didn't work. There we go. There we go. Okay, all the way it blows up. All the way away. And there we go. So, yeah, that I think was a nice demonstration of these settings on the keyboard. Sorry for that spam in the chat, I was pressing the buttons. We looked at the keyboard cam. Um, on to the next setting. Alright, now the second game, um, I'm going to be playing. I decided I'm going to do two separate games with the three separate settings on the keyboard. Um, I'm going to be playing Ultimate Custom Night. Um, and the setting I have the keyboard right now is Fire, and I set it to the primary color was red, secondary was orange, and I have the same white, black, uh, backlit key. Um, so, yeah. And for some reason, OBS isn't taking, um, isn't letting me have it as just the game, so there's gonna be a little tool at the bottom, I think. Um, it's basically recording my desktop right now. Um, but should, you should be able to still see the game. Um, I would imagine, um, if not, then you get to hear me play the game, and it's still the keyboard cam, so, um, yeah, but, that's, that's the deck. Let's see, what should I put? I'm thinking, Night Marion 2. Do I want to give myself a challenge? I don't think so. Funny 20. Just uh, 10. Just don't check Pirate's Cove. Freddy 5. I'm thinking. Spring Trap 5. Let's do it. Hold on. Get how to play this game. Okay, so I need these four here. Um, an F. Okay. Here we go. I don't think I need my mouse for this one. Actually, I might. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I do. Um, okay, ooh, that's not very good. Okay. Hello. Um, and system. Cam system. Death corn. Um, I'm not quite sure I remember all who I added Okay, it looks to me like it's a little bit slow a little bit laggy, but that's just because of the S um, Is there any the ducks? Nope Coin, thank you. I'm gonna have to get coin. Not you, but you. You. Can I get coin? I don't know. Um, and I'm already at really low percent. That went quick. Um, hmm. I guess I'm dead. 
I don't even remember all of what I put. I guess I could just close that. Yeah. Turn off the fan. Only really need to watch up here. Ooh, you're there. Okay. And there goes power, which means spring trap. Likely gonna be the first one to get me. Or Phantom Freddy. It could be either, really. So far, I'm still alive. Oh, there's Phantom Freddy. Hey, bud. How are you doing? I guess I could just try and find Marion. Eh. Couldn't even bother to just sit here and see. Ooh, and there's Spring Trap. Oh, joke. Okay. Um. But yeah. Oh, battery. Nice, thanks. Um, but yeah, there is the third setting for the game of the custom night. On to the next one. Alright, and for the last game, I've chosen the last setting. Um, the game is Enter the Dungeon. Um, and the... Oh, and I fell off. I was looking at the keyboard. Um, the settings I have is static red and a blue ripple effect. So, yeah, I'm gonna play the ground event of the dungeon. Um, not very far into the game yet, I'm still fairly new. Um, I think I've only unlocked like, unlocked, like one thing in the. Not dungeon area, I don't even know what it's called, but yeah, so. Sorry if I'm not talking very much, as anyone who knows Enter the Dungeon, this game involves a whole lot of concentration. So if I'm not talking as much during this, that's why. I also have the hiccups, so that's nice. Oh no, I'm not gonna last very long. I'm dead. That's okay though, because I feel this video is already gonna go on long enough. That's a key. And there I go, all right. Well, 
There we go. That is pretty much all there is to show for this keyboard, I think. Um, did a lot today. Um, unboxing, walkthrough of the, um, went through the installer, played with the settings a little bit, saw what it was capable of, played some games, see what it can do. Overall, very nice keyboard, not too heavy, not too light. Um, the keys are very soft, there's a lot of customization. I personally like the Rainbow Wave and the Fire Effect. I think I'm going to be using those two the most, um, personally, but yeah, so I highly recommend this keyboard if you're looking for a not too expensive compared to the other um, gaming keyboards, especially Razer keyboards that I've seen out there. Um, not too bad. It's also spill resistant. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, I'm not going to just go dump some Pepsi on it, but it says in the box it's spill resistant and knowing Razer probably is. Um, so yeah, this has been the uh, Razer Sinoza Chroma. Very nice keyboard. Lots of customization when it comes to the lighting. Um, so yeah, I very highly recommend this keyboard to anyone looking for a nice LG R RGB gaming keyboard. I highly recommend it. It's very nice. Um, keys are very soft. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you're new to my channel, maybe consider subscribing. Helps out a lot. I don't always upload this type of content. Um, usually I upload gameplay videos, but hey, since I got this keyboard, I thought, hey, why not try a review video? Um, so if you're interested in gaming videos, um, right now I have I've uploaded things like Hell and Neighbor, Benny and Ink Machine, that sort of stuff. I'm getting ready to upload Undertale right now and just editing through it. Um, hope to play games like Deltarune, Pop Goes, more Five Nights at Freddy's. I've played through some of them, but I haven't finished the whole series yet. Um, I hope to upload some Fortnite videos. Um, so, lots of fun stuff coming up. So, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.